G'day Legends, it's Mark here from North Oz and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you what I picked up in the tyre of my new to me FJ Cruiser. It's definitely a first for me and I think you guys are going to get a bit of a kick out of the story. But first, I need to get the five door Jimny out of the garage and bring the FJ in, so let's do that. A lot of you guys are pretty interested in the five door Jimny videos we've done so far, so we will be giving you a little bit of an update on the Jimny, what we've noticed in the first couple of months, and we'll be getting mum's opinions on it so far, but a bit of a spoiler alert, she absolutely loves this thing. When I made the video of me picking up the FJ Cruiser, I had people commenting, oh no, you got rid of the 79 series. No, it is still here. I'm still camping in it. I'm still using it. But the FJ, as I'm going to talk about in an upcoming video, is more for a daily driver and more for some other activities that we'll be going through in a separate video. But for today, we need to talk about what's going on with this tire. So let's do that now. Now guys, I actually broke one of my own rules and it's the biggest piece of advice that I give to every new four wheel driver or even just to people who just buy new vehicles or you know they change around their vehicles quite a bit is it's my own rule that's to learn how to change the tire on your vehicle. And that's something that I actually didn't learn to do on this FJ and when I was driving home from work yesterday, I thought I had a flat tire, I didn't, and I'm gonna show you what that noise actually was, but that was one of the first things that actually would have made the trip home a little less scary, because when I was driving home, I actually realized I've had this car for a few weeks, and I didn't even know how to change the tire, because every vehicle has got a different way of doing that. You might need a special key, for example, to unlock a locking nut, or you might have to you know, use some sort of mechanism to lower down the tire from your tray. Every vehicle is slightly different, and making sure that you have the tools to change your flat tire and to change out the spare wheel. So that was the first thing that I did wrong and that's the first part of my story which led to quite a bit of stress. So let's go ahead and check out how to get this tire off first. That's the first thing I have to learn. And the second thing is I'm gonna show you guys what is in my tire. Let's do that now. And as predicted, there is a locking nut on this wheel here. And I'm gonna see if my car key actually unlocks it. Let's find out. And it does, so there you go. Some some cars have uh, different keys for different things, but that's worked out quite well. Now before I get this wheel off and show you what the damage is, can we just take a moment to appreciate how good these stock rims look on the FJ Cruiser? I don't know what it is about these stock wheels, but they just look so good. I don't, I'm not, I don't know why. I mean, every stock vehicle I've had that's had stock wheels on it, I've pretty much hated. Probably the only exception will be the 79 series. I actually like the cheese cutter wheel or the pizza cutter wheels, but I mean, like in terms of alloy wheels, man, these FJ Cruiser wheels look surprisingly good. And there are a T TRD version of uh, the FJ wheels that you can get, and they look even better again. So I don't know why Toyota decided to go all out on the FJ Cruiser, but I actually really like these wheels. They're, they look almost chrome in the sunlight, and they're kind of like a little bit of a gunmetal sort of a look, and I just think they look really good, really off-roady, and they pretty much uh, look like an aftermarket wheel. Another tip to be mindful of is that when you first get your vehicle from wherever it is, to make sure that the wheel nuts aren't done up so tight that you can't get them undone on the side of the road because these ones I would not have had a hope of getting undone if I didn't have my little uh, breaker bar here. So keep that in mind, make sure that the wheel nuts aren't so tight that you can't get them off when you're on the side of the road. So like I was saying, I was uh, driving home from work yesterday and I can hear what sounds like a flat tire. So I'm looking for a spot to pull off the side of the road. I was on a bridge, so not particularly the best spot. So I was keeping an eye out and then the sound just kind of went away. Kind of like the slapping sound just kind of stopped. So I thought, well, you know, can't be that bad then. I'll get home and I'll have a quick walk around and see what I can see. So what I ended up finding 
was a little bit surprising. Turns out you need to pop the center cap off these wheels before they'll let you take them off. Is there a special tool you need for this or what? Mate, the FJ owners are screaming at the screen right now, I'm sure. Well, there it is. No damage done. So when I got out and had a bit of a look around the, uh, the car to see what I could find making the noise, this is what I found. Let me see if I can get that in frame for you. The first one is what appears to be an Allen key. So that's the, that's what they're absolutely buried in there. So that's what was making all the noise because it's sticking so far out. You can actually see that almost even on camera. So that's that one sticking out there. And then I kept looking around the car. I was like, well, that's got to do it. You know, no, no worries. You know, it happens. And then what I ended up finding was a nail. So I don't know at what point I ran over a nail, but there it is, stuck in there. Now this tire is holding full pressure somehow. I'm not entirely sure how, um, but there you have it, folks. There's that Allen key in there, <laughs> which is a first for me. I don't think I've ever seen an Allen key in a tire before. I'm not even sure if I've heard of that even happening. I don't even know how it even got in there. Um, so there you go. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a, I don't know. I, I honestly am lost for words. So I don't know what happened to that. It's hoping to get a little bit more life out of these tires, even though they are, you know, pretty, pretty uh, had it. I knew that buying the, the vehicle that these, these tires need to be changed soon. But um, yeah, hmm, a little bit sooner than I'd expected. That's for sure. So yeah, so here we are putting the spare tire on and we're gonna talk about what sort of tires I'm gonna get on this next. Uh, maybe what sort of brands I'm looking at and also a little helpful hint to help you guys keep an eye on the integrity of your tires. There's a little code on here that I wanna show you that not everybody knows about, so I'm gonna clue you into that one as well. So if you guys don't know how to read the expiration date on a tire, check this out. I only just learned how to do this, so you're not alone in this. There is a four digit number, actually there's a lot of four digit numbers all throughout the tire and all around the tire, a lot of them. But the one around this, around this oval tells you the week in which it was made and then the year it was manufactured as well. So you can see on this one, it's got 0215. So that's the second week of 2015 that this one was made. So, you know, structural integrity wise probably, you know, was probably gonna have something wrong with it pretty quickly, but just so you guys know, that's how you actually read the expiration dates and kind of get an idea if you know, you're being sold a vehicle that doesn't have you know, a, lot of, um, a lot of life left in it in terms of the integrity on it. You can, end, you can see as well on this one that it's, you know, it's starting to break apart a little bit on the, on the lugs. So oh, this is something I was aware of when I bought it, but just so you guys know that, yeah, if you're being sold a vehicle and you're not too sure about how long it's been on the vehicle for, that's normally a pretty good little indicator for you. If anyone has any more information and you know you want to correct me, feel free to do that in the comment section, but that's just a quick little thing that I learned recently. So the question remains, what tires do I replace my current tires with? I mean, I knew that I was going to have to replace these sooner rather than later. I was kind of hoping it would be on the later side, but as we have learned through, you know, tire expirations and learning how to read them, these were on borrowed time anyway. So let me know what you guys want to see in terms of tire, tire brands, tire types on this FJ. It is a daily driver, keep in mind. So, you know, that has to be at the forefront. So I'm probably looking more like an all-terrain tire, but I am planning on doing a little bit of wheeling in this FJ because what I've learned from this vehicle so far, what I've learned about it, it is very capable off-road. Something that shocked me a lot. It's super nimble. It's got all the tires and all the wheels on all the corners of the vehicle. So this thing can maneuver around the track super well. So. Keep that in mind when suggesting and when recommending some tires for me. What brands are you running? What have you run in the past? And why do you recommend the certain brand that you're going to recommend to me? Now, if you guys have had a crazy tire story where something has exploded or something has gotten into the tire that's more crazy than the nail and the Allen key in mind, let me know down in the comment section. I can't wait to read them. I always get a kick out of reading your comments and looking at your stories as well. You guys have some great ones. So, 
On that note, let me know what you guys want to see with the tires. You want to see more budget orientated, you know, have a look at a bit of a, make a bit of a review for you on that. Or would you like to see a tried and tested product or even something with a little bit more modern technology in it, something that's that's the latest and greatest in tire technology. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. And on that note, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I've got heaps more content coming out. This was a little bit of a rushed video because obviously I had to change the tire on my vehicle, so it wasn't really planned at all. It was all just a little bit off the top of my head, but hey, listen, that's what happens. You know, this is a lot of what I'm doing is just what I, a lot of what I film is just what I'm doing anyway, guys. So keep that in mind when you're watching my videos. Now, very little of what I do is actually planned. So keep that in mind when you're looking at the videos. And guys, on that note, thank you so much for watching. If you stuck to the end, I appreciate it. And I'll see you very shortly in the next video. See you then.